Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Home Show. Mike Pace is my name. And uh, you know, it's kind of that annual tug of war. Is it fall or is it still summer? Well, I know it's October. And what I do in October is go out on safari looking for the perfect pumpkin, and I know where to find it. It's at Center Grove Orchard near Cambridge, and that's where we are kicking off the show today. And this happens to be the number one attraction here at this amazing entertainment uh, venue called Center Grove Orchard. This is the corn pool. And we're going to check out every single nook and cranny of this place, and it'll be amazing for you. We even did a zip line. So stay with us for that. And then I want to mention that uh, we'll join up with Julie Barkema from Iowa Realty and an opportunity, kind of a rare opportunity in Ankeny, a home that was custom designed and never lived in brand new construction. And you can't build it for what we can sell it for today. So that's with Julie. Stick around, put the coffee on, let's get it started in West Des Moines. This is Quail Park, West Des Moines, almost an acre of the setting for this five bedroom, six bathroom home. Mary Kay Michelson loved to give you the tour. Very convenient to West Glen, malls and theaters, restaurants, Raccoon River Park, 932. Denny Junius with a five bedroom, five bathroom, story and a half in Glen Oaks, Iowa's only private residential golf community. Private treed yard here, room for a pool table in that lower level and a price tag of 849.9. Sachi Kalra with a four-bedroom, three-bathroom home on the cul-de-sac, better than 3,300 square feet here. Great kitchen. There's a Trex deck, fenced backyard. The roof is new. Gutters have been uh, redone recently, 519.9. Cambria Morris from Iowa Realty wants to talk townhomes. Open house, one to three at the Covenant Cove townhomes in West Des Moines. Nearly $50,000 in upgraded items in this particular townhome. Priced at $370 and change from CCS. Still in West Des Moines, Rick Brantrude with a three bedroom townhome, three bath areas. Uh, this is a nice ranch, vaulted ceilings, lower levels finished, double garage, uh, furnace nearly new, water heater as well, fresh paint, brand new listing, $279. Stephanie Wright from Iowa Realty. This uh, two bedroom, two bathroom townhome is a two story in a fourplex in Woodland Lake. Brand new carpet. New roof recently, nice open kitchen and a good price of $229.9. Deb Miller with a two bedroom, two bathroom condominium. Second floor, no shared walls here and a 12 inch concrete floor. A big uh, single car garage, community playground uh, nearby 144.9. In Waukee now, Sachi Kalra open house one to three. The builder is Paramount Homes, Cypress two story plan. Side load, triple garage, other home sites and plans are available, by the way, and ask about $15,000 towards your custom home. Next up, Dan Veerling from Iowa Realty, four bedrooms, three baths, two and a half years of the tax abatement remain here. Paramount is the builder, it's the Carlton II plan, and it'll be completed in about 30 days. Joanne Manning now with open house, one to three, four bedrooms, three baths, uh, kids can walk to Grant Reagan School here. A mudroom area with a bench and storage right off the garage, very handy to the kitchen, 419.9. Kendra Caps in Waukee, beautiful remodeled kitchen here. Three bedrooms, three baths, newer LVP flooring on the main level. Lots of updates, triple garage. And again, Waukee Schools, 329.9. Next up, Sunny Green from Iowa Realty with a three bedroom, three bathroom, two story. Living room with fireplace, lower level is ready to finish. Plenty of storage down there. Great location near groceries, trails, parks, elementary school, restaurants, 325. Jenny Gracious Willie from Iowa Realty with a three bedroom, two bathroom walkie ranch. Uh, lower level finished. Walking distance of schools and parks, oversized double garage. Uh, Grand Prairie Parkway uh, convenient nearby, 261. Let's talk contemporary to the max. Layla Frazee in Urbandale with a four bedroom, three bathroom home. Uh, absolutely amazing modern uh, features. Four spacious bedrooms, a luxurious primary suite with a spa like bathroom, high tech kitchen. Wow. Well, how about a $50,000 price reduction now? 10,000 below assessed value. So the seller very motivated here. Four bedrooms and five baths just a block away from Des Moines Christian. Half acre setting back into the trees, 649.9. Sharon Rudy in Urbandale, four bedrooms and four baths. 
$20,000 price reduction here and a $10,000 incentive toward your blinds or appliances, maybe closing costs. MJ Custom Homes, the builder, excellent builder, walkout ranch here with all kinds of great features, $549. Mike Hamilton, townhome living, three bedrooms, three baths, walkout lower level. This is the Hallbrook neighborhood. Wonderful primary bedroom with a spa-like shower and custom wardrobe cabinetry. Walkie schools, 485. Alexis Johnson now as we go to Clive. Country club location, four bedrooms, five bath areas, nearly 3,000 square feet, brand new listing. Move right in or you can take advantage of the low price and make some updates, 485. And Mike Bray and Clive with two bedrooms and two baths, condominium living, nicely maintained, fresh paint, Carpets brand new, LVT flooring, open concept kitchen, private patio 142.5. Well, I'm here with Deanna Black, who is director of fun at the Center Grove. Orchard near Cambridge, Iowa. It's great to see you and thanks for the tour. Thank you. We Welcome. Are, we are knocked out. Our crew is just having so much fun today and some of us weren't aware of just what a complex this is. Uh, but I want to, we'll talk about all the different uh, fun things to do here in addition to apples and pumpkins. But this was your dad's dream, Larry, uh, who passed away. Uh, and it, it, he, it's a farm. But it's, mm -hmm. it's a working farm, but it's a playground. It is. This was my playground growing up. Everything that you see here was, mom would say, get out of the house. And I have three siblings. And my brother, Steve, now is owner operator. Yeah. And I get to come back and I'm working for him. And um, it's a lot of fun. And now even my high school classmates and their grandkids and kids, they even come out and not only play, but now they're even working for us. That's fantastic. I. Uh, I'm just knocked out with every every question I ask. Knock, the answer knocks me out. 300 employees uh, and 20 acre pumpkin patch, 10,000 mm -hmm. apple trees. Uh, we shot hoops. We went on a zip line. Uh, we got we got yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Take yeah. a good look at Jimmy. Boy, is that gorgeous? I want him. Mm -hmm. Can I take him home? Absolutely. <laughs> now, yes. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. So, um, talk about uh, when you're open because it's a seasonal. Mm -hmm. business obviously right right so with the apples the apples are usually ready the end of august and we time them we stagger them so that way you've got some apples ready in august and then things like the granny smith isn't open till ready until the end of october beginning of, of november so now if you go to the grocery store you might see five or six varieties of right. apples you have 34 mm -hmm. right right like yeah <laughs> one week there's this is ready and the next week johnny golds are ready and we continue on well let's go have a look at the apple orchard So Deanna, as I understand it, these are the mature trees, the original trees that were planted. They right? are. In 1986, um, we started planting these trees. My mom's side of the family had a Wakanda orchards in Illinois. My dad's side of the family had traditional farming in Ames. This used to be a cattle where cattle were roaming. Yeah. yeah. So, now we have our apples. So I want to do this experiment to see whether or not an apple is ready. Show me a good one to try here. Yeah, let's go for, how high is your reach? Can you reach for any of these? Oh yeah, how about this guy? Go for it. So we want to twist and pull. Twist and pull. Now if it comes off easily, you know the apple is ready. Came if off. you're pulling the branch, then you know it's not ready yet. This one's ready. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Now from the apple tree, we pick them and they go into our scratch bakery. Mm -hmm. The pie crust is made from scratch. We have apple crisp, apple pie. We've got apple cider donuts. We have apple butter, apple sauce. Wow. Everything apple, That's as well amazing. as more things with. And then you've got yeah. 10,000 uh, young trees mm -hmm. in a trellis system. Do that real quickly. What's that mean? Yeah, so it just means that we now have more trees in a row with a trellis to help um, keep them. And they're easier to pick from that way. Got it. Let's go to the country store because I just can't resist the apple crisp, okay? So the apple cider donuts here at Center Grove Orchard are almost, it's like a cult following. It I'm is, people you. line up. And I can't wait, sorry. They, they are so delicious. And you're so active on the farm, calories don't even count. 
Oh, and you're eating it with a smile, which makes it even better. <laughs> yeah. Talk about some of the other products that surround us here because the country store is just amazing. Absolutely. We've got our apple pie, our apple crisp, our cider donuts. We've got jams, jellies. And then we move from apples, everything apple right now. Then yep. we go to pumpkins with our pumpkin pie. Yep. All of that fun with our Halloween coming up. Ending the season with pumpkin destruction. Then we go into the winter with all of our fun activities. And then strawberries are in June. Oh, wow. And then yeah. I saw a homemade honey over here. We do. We have local honey, supporting our local farmers. Suffice and popcorn. Suffice it to say, it, uh, if you're thinking about some goodie for the fall season, it's here. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, even our French fries, we plant our potatoes from here. So our French fries are hand cut, seasoned from the farm. Deanna, I can't thank you enough. This has just been a really, well, it's been an eye opener for me. And anybody who hasn't seen Center Grove, uh, Orchard in Cambridge needs to come out here before the first week of November when yeah. you shut it down, right? Absolutely. The farmyard shuts down then, and then we reopen for Winter Wonderland where you can see Santa on the farm. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>Go to Iowa Realty TV on YouTube and Facebook for our featured home tours. Hear about communities where you might want to live, home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's Iowa Realty TV. This is Johnston and Matt Fuelberth with five bedrooms and four baths and a new price of 580. Backing up to the Johnston water tower here means you will never have a neighbor to the back, very private backyard. Price is 580. Chris K. from Iowa Realty and Johnson. Four bedrooms, four baths here. Big square footage. Maintenance free composite, 12 by 20. Covered deck is a great feature. Extra deep triple garage. Johnston High School, Summit Middle School nearby, 575. Melanie Stanbro now with three bedrooms and three baths. Nice ranch in Green Meadows North. Finished lower level. Nice landscaping, this is a great location. Big white kitchen is timeless. There's an office, plenty of storage, 459.9. First time open, you might get there early, 1.30 to 3.30 with Nick Scar, four bedrooms and three baths. You're near Sailorville Lake here. Nice ranch on the corner, finished walkout lower level. A lot of updates, 439.9. Julie Barkema, open house one to four today. This is our special feature on the program, five bedrooms and three baths. Custom built, new construction, but never lived in. Great opportunity here. And Julie will be there to tell you all about it. The price is $539. Julie Holt now in Ankeny with three bedrooms. Spacious brick ranch here in the heart of Ankeny near that uptown area. Plumbed for another bathroom in the lower level, by the way. Uh, Pella windows, brick siding, new roof and air, $249.9. Karen Helgeson in Ankeny now, two bedrooms, two baths. Good location for this first floor condominium. It's on the end for some extra privacy. Affordable dues, well maintained, 150. Sarah Gaskell now as we go to Des Moines, a modernized, remodeled, historic home south of Grand on a one acre setting, 37th Street. Beautiful spot, surrounded by wonderful neighbors and updated so nicely, 1,198. Catherine Driscoll with four bedrooms and three baths, the airport downtown. Waterworks Park, very handy from this spot. Placed perfectly on hole number five of Wakanda Golf Course. 4,300 square feet of luxury at 975. Alan Donahoe now, open house one to three. 3,900 plus square feet here, about a block from Wakanda Club, just two story. Oversized double garage with a double driveway. A big white kitchen, a lot of features for 499. Cheryl Corbett now, three bedrooms and two baths. Terrific mid-century modern condominium living on historic Grand Avenue. Picturesque setting here near downtown. I-235 is handy as well. Completely renovated, 459. Gerald Steenhook, four bedrooms, two baths. This home has had a single owner for six decades and a little more, if you can imagine. Ready for your personal touch and a new family. Ultra quiet neighborhood, 420. Next up, Greg Weinschenk. Culver Ridge is the neighborhood. Open concept kitchen, big pantry, a nice feature. Living room with vaulted ceilings and direct vent fireplace. New carpet throughout, some fresh paint. Priced at 375. 
Jenny Overturf now with open house one to three, 2,600 plus square feet here, four bedrooms and three baths near Easter Lake. Nice uh, layout with living room, dining room, and a terrific updated kitchen. Walkout lower level finish, 350. Curtis Marowelli now, downtown vibe is here. A one bedroom condominium in the historic Harger and Blish building. Uh, stunning skyline views, interior updates, uh, move in ready at 319.9. Talk about views, downtown Darla has some here at the SoCo Lofts. Rarely available, two bedroom, two bathroom condominium, recently remodeled bathroom, unique floor to ceiling window design and a price of 315. Beth Davis now with open house one to three. A virtually new here, new roof and furnace and decks, brand new kitchen, brand new bathrooms, flooring, paint, light fixtures, nice open floor plan, priced at $299.9. Hannah McHugh from Iowa Realty with another open house, one to three, two bedrooms, two baths, good sized ranch, remodeled bathroom with a walk-in shower, finished lower level, second kitchen downstairs, plenty of storage, and a good price of $249.9. Brianna Kelsey now with three bedrooms and two baths at the end of the cul-de-sac. Updated home, nicely tucked away, has a new roof, fresh paint recently, new gutters and downspouts, fully fenced yard, refreshed kitchen, and a price of $215. Condominium living now, a well-maintained, rare opportunity here for the second floor. Outdoor swimming pool, spacious balcony, a lot of great features in this building. And Jim Baer wants to give you the tour, two bedrooms, two baths for $199. Possibilities galore, Greg Weinschenk with a big building here, 5,700 plus square feet near the Grub YMCA, could be a nonprofit, could be multifamily use, all kinds of potential, 189.9. Another virtually new situation, one bedroom, one bath, small square footage here, and Logan Bryant says if you can get by with that square footage, this could be a real opportunity because virtually everything is new and priced at 99.9. And Steve Camerona with another smaller home, one bedroom, one bath, nearly a thousand square feet, good sized living dining area, nice fenced backyard, has a single car detached garage and a storage shed on the property and 69.9. I'm here with Julie Barkema. Over the years, one of my favorite guests on the Home Show. It's great to see you. Great to see you too. And here we are at the crossings at Deer Creek and Ankeny. And Julie, uh, Ankeny, uh, one of the fastest growing communities in the entire country in recent years. And we, we're starting to say, now where do we grow? Well, we grow east of I-35 and that's where we are. Here, North right? and east, absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of great commercial development in this area too. The house that we're in right now, I think you're about five minutes to the new Costco yep. and all of the new development restaurants going in around that. So it's really an exciting opportunity this for someone. This is the Centennial Ankeny High School uh, mm -hmm. school District, by the way. And I notice out these big, beautiful windows, there don't appear to be any neighbors across the street. That's a nice view. No, nope, there's a new road back there, again, making it more convenient to get to those uh, new developments. But the closest houses are gonna be on the other side of a tree line. So. Uh, briefly, let's take a walk to the kitchen, but briefly, um, this situation is unique because this was a custom designed home for a couple. It is. And circumstances dictated that they couldn't move in. And so yeah. it's brand new. Yeah. Really unfortunate too. This was their dream home and this will be somebody else's dream home at a really good price. Uh, never been lived in. Um, just like new because it is new. And no way you could replace it for a $539,000, no. which is where we're listed today. Definitely not. The uh, the home's got a lot of great features to it that you just don't see at this price point. Um, the woodwork around the windows that you mentioned, we've got two fireplaces, we've got uh, really high-end appliances, we've got not just a tile shower, but the secondary baths also have tile surrounds. Wow. Just just the little things that all add up to a really neat custom home. Total of five bedrooms, mm -hmm. uh, two up, uh, three up, three up, two, two down. down. I got it. <laughs> and uh, three bath areas. Three bath areas. About twenty six hundred square feet. Yeah, so, great wet bar downstairs. Uh -huh. Love that. Um, yeah, just uh, just a terrific home. So yeah, you're over twenty six hundred square feet altogether for their space. So I have to show you this beautiful covered deck, Mike. I just love it out here. Plenty of space for your grill, for table and chairs. You can lounge, get tan, um, all, of the, all of the things. 
and look at the beautiful surroundings. That mature tree line back there, a couple weeks when those leaves change, it's gonna be just gorgeous. Well, and I'm sure there'll be some landscaping done on the hillside. And again, to repeat what we said earlier, no houses across the street, they'll be behind that tree line. So it's a nice privacy here on the corner. It really is. And we're on the cul-de-sac, which everyone loves. Downstairs, uh, kind of a big open area that you could do a lot with, depending on whether you want a fitness area or a pool table or what you want to do, right? Yeah, you've got that great electric fireplace with the built-ins on the side. You've got surround sound speakers throughout the house, so you can hook up your system and be all set. You know, sometimes we forget that we have viewers who aren't familiar with Ankeny. This is a storied school system, and you have Sailorville Lake and Jester Park and uh, all the recreation kind of in your backyard when you live in Ankeny, and great access, and this is the reason for the growth, I think, over the years, great access to both I-35 and 80. Right. It's can, a great package. You can be at Iowa or Iowa State games in yep. no time. And once again, this uh, home is available at 539, Julie, because mm -hmm. of the circumstances that were unfortunate for the couple who had this as their dream home, and yep. now it's yep. available to you, and we couldn't replace it for that kind of money today. Great opportunity for someone. And you will be here. That's a, Here's the jam on the cracker. You'll be here today from 1 to 4, right? I will. Come see me. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, it's the home stretch. Lots of terrific homes in Indianola. Carrie Bishop has one open today from 1 to 3. Wow, a quality built custom home by Downing Construction, a great name in Indianola. Amazing list of updates, brand new listing, five bedrooms and four baths, quality everywhere, 725. Tanner Lloyd now with four bedrooms, four baths on better than three acres with an Indianola address. 3,400 square feet here, great location near Lake Aquabi, and again, a ton of updates, 645. Indianola, of course, about a half hour commute to Des Moines downtown. Five bedrooms and two baths here. Alexis Johnson says move right in. Fresh paint inside and out. New flooring and carpet. Nice ranch. Quiet area, 274. Steve Camerona now. Two bedrooms and two baths. Again, if big square footage isn't necessary, take a look here. Split foyer. Additional bedroom options in the lower level. Could be three or four. Single car garage and a price tag of $159.9. We we'll go to Norwalk, open house one to four, and the views are beautiful of that legacy golf course from this spot, four bedrooms and three baths. Angie Deemer wants to talk to you about it. Of course, great schools, quick commute, and those views, 470. Ted Grove has new construction in Norwalk at Valley View. Savannah, the builder with a 50-year reputation, second to none. This is the new castle two-story plan, priced at 325 with four bedrooms and three baths, walk out lower level. Here's a great package, almost 10 acres with an Adel address and a terrific agent, Muhammad Ali from Iowa, really. Beautiful acreage conveniently located near the interstate, walk out ranch with all kinds of things, including an in-ground pool, 899.9. Gerald Steenhook and Adel, three bedrooms, three baths. A 2021 contemporary two-story here. Uh, smart home automation, very energy efficient. Future potential for a fourth bedroom downstairs, 315. Dallas Center now and Deborah McGee, open house one to three. Move in and watch your city grow and your equity grow in Dallas Center. Tax abatement, you're only 19 minutes from Jordan Creek here with those great Dallas Center grind schools. Price is three. 95. Next up, Jessica Coyle. We go to Stewart, four bedrooms and three baths. Ton of updates here. Three acres of rolling countryside for you. Marvin windows, LP siding and gutters have been updated at a price of 625. This is Sun Valley Lake, three bedrooms and three baths. Maybe it's time for that lake spot about 75 minutes south of Des Moines and a couple of hours from Kansas City for that matter. A two-car garage attached, 80 feet of shoreline, 539. Sandy Delzell now with a Milo, Iowa address, about 40 minutes to the city, four bedrooms, two baths, almost 12 acres here. Southeast Warren Schools could be your own hobby farm, price is 375. To Carlisle, good schools, quick commute, Michelle Green, four bedrooms and three baths here and 2,800 square feet, nicely maintained, and a price tag of $369.9, and again, just minutes from Des Moines. Bob Weeks and Winterset, new construction here. Quiet neighborhood for this two-story. Primary bedroom with 
carpet and uh, tray ceiling, ceiling fan, primary bath with double sink tile shower, unfinished lower level 351. Chantel Cooney with an uh, Altoona address, three bedrooms and two baths, generously sized primary ensuite and a couple of other good sized bedrooms, open plan, nice outdoor deck, well established neighborhood 285. Knoxville now, four bedrooms, two baths here and Cheryl Chambers will give you the tour. Of course, Knoxville, just uh, close to Lake Red Rock, about an hour from Des Moines. This home, built in 1874, imagine the stories, 259.5. This is Ackworth, a couple of uh, minutes east of Indianola, two plus acres the setting here. With some imagination, this could be an amazing home. It's being sold as is, priced at 240. Next up, Aisha Syed and an Ogden, Iowa address. Sitting on uh, two parcels here that equal nearly an acre, Three bedrooms, two baths, hardwood floors, some charm and character here, and a price of $229.9. This is Nevada, Iowa, good location between the elementary and the middle school, and Steve Camerona with three bedrooms and two baths, minutes from Ames or Ankeny or Des Moines for that matter. Lots of updates, all new modern flooring, 205. Steve can show you this home with an Adair, Iowa address, about an hour to the west. Half an acre of the setting, three bedrooms, two baths. There's a workshop, deck off the back of this home, solid and priced at $154.9. Jessica Coyle, as we go to Menlo, in three bedrooms and two baths here. Move in ready, quiet street, LVP flooring, vinyl windows, nearly new water heater, the electrical panel's been updated, and priced at $139. Newton, Iowa, Sean Preston with a two bedroom home. Newton's about a half hour to the east of the city, around a thousand square feet here, new furnace and air, on-demand water heater, fire pit in the backyard, 136. Gina Thompson with a Corridon, Iowa address, maybe an hour south of the city, brand new listing, three bedrooms, two baths, hardwood floors, lots of windows, main floor composed of kitchen, dining room, living room and bath, 68,000. And Steve Camerona with a Farragut, Iowa address. This could be your weekend getaway or maybe your downsizing or possible investment. A couple of hours south and west of Des Moines, two bedroom home priced at 63,000. Well, if you haven't seen the Center Grove Orchard near Cambridge, Iowa, you are missing something. I had never been here and it is just absolutely amazing. Now we're in the corn maze, uh, which is just one little facet of what happens here. I wanna thank everybody at uh, Center Grove. 6,000 apple trees, 34 different delicious varieties of apples and pumpkins everywhere you look and all kinds of fun things for the family. Whether you're three or 103, this is just a cool place. So thanks uh, again to Center Grove Orchard near uh, Cambridge and Special thanks to Julie Barkema with Iowa Realty for the tour of that terrific home in Ankeny there and a price tag that cannot be replaced at 539. So Mike Pace till next time on The Home Show. Don't forget us on YouTube and Facebook and we'll see you next time on The Home Show.